afternoon, everybody. Dave Monahan here, Goods and Tools and Supplies. Yeah, it's time once again for another Tech Lab Tuesday. Today, I want to talk to you about the, our core drills and our reamers, as well as our valve guide uh, ID uh, solid carbide uh, reamers and our high speed reamers that we use for cast iron. Remember, the carbide reamers are used for uh, bronze, manganese bronze, and what have you. But first, Look at my new backdrop. Is that beautiful or what? Yeah, we got a brand new addition to the studio here at Goods and Tools and Supplies. Uh, Want to kick these uh, videos up uh, a notch? Uh, I promised you good uh, content. I promised you articulate delivery. Uh, and uh, I, I plan on maintaining that for you. And uh, uh, so I hope you're getting as much out of these uh, videos as, as I'm putting into them. And I thank you in advance. Uh, continually uh, for tuning in and viewing them. So today, like I said, we're going to talk about uh, core drills and reamers. Uh, in the past, uh, you know, seat guide machines came out, there was a core drill and a core reamer. The core drill and the core reamer were specific tools. It had a piloted uh, area here and it drilled the uh, valve guide bore. These are for your integral uh, valve uh, guides, like your Chevys and your Fords of days gone by, but still integral valve guides in today's applications as well. So we start with a pilot, whatever it might be, 5 16 11 30 seconds, uh, 3 8 7 16 7 millimeter, 8 millimeter, whatever it is, we've got to have the right pilot first. Then this drill comes through, and then it sets a different, uh, specific diameter. From that point, we use a core reamer, which is also piloted to go where this drill leaves off, and then this core reamer, you can see the different flute design uh, in there. And what that does is open up the final dimension of that guide bore and put a nice uh, finish on it. Most of the dimensions we're trying to hit on a guide OD is right at half inch, 0.500. So with the core drill and a core reamer, you can get there with two tools. However, innovators as we are in the automotive uh, uh, aftermarket, uh, a company, I think it was IDL, I could be wrong, I'm unsure who invented this tool. This is a combination tool. It's a core drill, it's a core reamer, it's piloted, it's two, two, two tools in one. Now when these things first came out, they didn't work all that well. And they got a bad reputation out of the box because it couldn't transfer right from the drilling part to the reaming part. Heck, that had to be 25 years ago, maybe even 30 years ago. The technology to making a, a, a combination core drills and reamers, or dreamers as I still call them by their street names that was developed all those years ago. I got a pilot, I've got a drill, I've got a reamer. My final size is all done with one, diff one specific tool. I don't have to use two tools to get the same job done. Change your pilot, go to a different uh, dimension on the ID. We still have the drilling portion of it and the reaming portion of it right here. Again, these will all end at half inch or 0.500. Now you might have noticed there's a difference in the, uh, in the shanks on these things. This here is a 3 8 uh, round and it's got a flat on it. This is designed to fit the original 30 machines and the 3100s that came out a few years back. Uh, also, we have round shanks with no flat on them. We also have half inch round shanks with a continuous flat on it. This fit the early Peterson and KI and some of the other early manufacturer machines that, that are no longer in production. But back in those days when tools needed to be designed, we had to design them specifically to the machine that was going to run them. In today's world, we're fortunate that most all of these late model machines, whether it's a, a new one, a Surdy, a Rottler, a Winona Van Norman, a Comac, all these new generation of machines that are coming out, generally have a collet drive with them. So we can run half inch shanks with collets on these, and we get a good secure bite on it, we can come in and get the job done. These core drills run in the 150 to 200 RPM range and generally done in a dry uh, method. No oil or lubrication is used when we're dealing with core drills, core reamers, or the combination tool. Also, uh, kind of a, a little walk of days gone by is we still offer knurling tools. Personally, I think knurling is a Band-Aid approach to a, to a guide repair. All it does is expand the metal, uh, leaves a, a couple of points or my fingertips to help hold that valve uh, in place. We then run a reamer through to flatten those, those uh, uh, points and try to give that valve something to ride up and down in. It's a, it's a little uh, endearing when you think about it that I've got this valve trying to be held on these points while it's going up and down in whatever RPM that engine happens to be running. So, 
Is knurling still done out there? Yes, it is on occasion. Do we have the tool? Absolutely, we do. And when you run a knurler, you want to make sure you have the lubrication with us. That's why we have a special knurl lube because it's actually going to like tap the inside of the valve guide, expand that metal, and give us some minor support to help hold that valve in position uh, as it moves up and down. This is our WR or high speed steel reamer. These are specifically designed exclusively for cast iron, not bronze, cast iron only. This tool right here. It's piloted according to what the ID of the valve guide is, and it then uh, sets the uh, uh, diameter here on what we want the ID to be finished at. This pilot is generally between 10 and 12 thousandths smaller than the finish size we're trying to get. If you want to hit a 3430, this pilot here is going to be about 10 thousandths smaller than that. Get yourself centered up, run the tool through. It's a one way tool, it goes through and then drops out. You take it back, start at the top again, and run it through. Get your dial bore gauge out, measure that guide bore, and you should have a good finish for cast iron only. How do we drive these tools? These rascals right here, we have these little drive tools that fit into your drill. This happens to be a quarter inch, and it comes with a little thread you can get your three jaw chuck onto. Personally, I like this option that we uh, offer, so you can actually have a hex that screws into here and you can get a, a better bite with your three jaw chuck, whether you're using your seat and guide machine vertically this way, or you're running a pistol grip type of drill this little uh, uh, hex here gives us a better bite to drive these types of tools. Continuing in with reamers, uh, we offer reamers from four millimeter uh, dimension, clear up through three eighths. Now, when it comes to these particular type of reamers, this little one here, our MR series of reamers, and these will run up through, I believe, the seven millimeter. We can run this one because of its flute design in cast iron or bronze. And you can see it's a straight flute. It's piloted as well. These real small ones in this four millimeter range, this is quite a sensitive tool. You can bend it, you can break it. So be real careful, make sure you're lined up uh, correctly when you're running the smaller dimension tools. What I'm really proud of are these solid carbide. These are the bad to the bone uh, reamers out here. Solid carbide, eight flutes, straight flutes on here. We even put flutes down here on the piloted portion as well to help draw the tool into the valve guide. Again, it's a round shank, so you can run it with a collet system right in your seat and guide machine. And the beauty of the design and the geometry of these flutes is like, this is a stroking tool. Unlike this, this is the one-way tool. This is a one-way tool, and this is a one-way tool, meaning it's gotta go in, come back out, and go back into the top. This, you can actually stroke because of this design. Keep one thing in mind. This solid carbide reamer is specifically only for bronze, manganese, bronze, phosphorus, bronze, or anything. There's a lot going on with core drills and reamers, and that's why we, we have differentials for specific uh, machine drives, universals for the new later generation of seat and guide machines that are out there. But we also have specific to application. As you know, throughout the entire uh, goods and catalog, we mostly sell by dimension, not by application, but the actual dimension. Because I can have a seven millimeter valve guide and a five nine Cummins, I can have it in a John Deere, I can have it in an LS Chevrolet, I can have it in a Toyota, a Nissan, or BMW. So therefore, I don't want to call out that this is only good for this BMW when I know seven millimeter is also in that 5.9 Cummins. Speaking of the 5.9 Cummins, we make a special kit specifically for that. You can buy the core drill, the core reamer, a two pass tool. We also offer that as a single pass tool, but we can get the valve guides, the valve stem seals, the guide installing tool, all as a kit from us. Keep that in mind, at times we do a, a kit those up. This same tool kit also fits that John Deere 24 valve. They also make a, uh, an eight millimeter uh, ID valve guide on those two applications. So keep that in mind. And again, I can't stress enough. If you're not measured, that means you're guessing. So always take the time to properly measure your tools and supplies. Uh, I want to thank you for watching the video here this afternoon. You can contact us on the uh, interweb at goodson.com or you can call us toll free 1 800 533 8010. I want to say thanks again for watching our, our videos. We'll see you next time. alloy bronze materials that are out there in the marketplace. So there's a lot going on when it comes to core drills and reamers. There's a, hang on, 